Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm hitting you guys with a video. Today marks the start of the daily grind, uh, reloaded kind of type thing. Um, I'm gonna be doing daily uploads all the way up till Madden 15. Um, I'm gonna be doing some Dark Souls 2 DLC hype videos. Might actually pound out another one of these, because I actually kind of want to prestige again in Call of Duty. I actually got back into playing it a little bit more, so I might pound another one of these back out. We're gonna do a Madden hype a little bit here. Um, I have a rant kind of video about EA Access because uh, they might have fucked me over, so I might not get to play it early. Uh, so we will get into that, but this is... I gotta be signed in. Alright. Sign in here. Alright. But we're gonna be doing my prestige stats. This is third prestige. Um just achieved it the other the other night really uh so you can see i'm level six now uh here's the class right here the third time's the charm level 60 stats look like this um i played uh search i had a 2.34 and then i played a bunch of search and uh was looking at videos and crap like that so my attention wasn't exactly on the game but uh, i'll take a 2.27 kd um you can see over the last few games that's per my kd um Let's see here, I have 10,696 kills to 4,710 deaths. Uh, my longest streak is 27, I have gotten a cam, uh, I've gotten like 2 or 3. Uh, and then my average kills is 16, only because I play Search. If I were to play Dom or Blitz or any of those game modes all the time, I would have more of like a... I'd have like an average of like 30 kills. Uh, win loss, I have 390 wins to 224 losses and 1.6 win loss ratio and a high streak of 25. I haven't really, I don't play in parties. This is like all solo, other than like the first week the game was out. This has all been solo, all these prestiges I've done. I've done, I've done. Uh, Surge and Destroy, we can take a look at that because I've been playing at 232 kills, 11 plants, 7 defuses, 2 defends. Uh, not too far up there. I don't even know what my most play is. Blitz. But the st uh, well, the stats are different on each console, depending on uh, because if I go on my 360, there's different stats there. Um, I'm in like a clan all by myself technically, and uh, I actually have the clan war bonus for uh, search and destroy. Um, I created a clan with my friends at the very beginning of the game, uh, and we really never played it. But I did play a lot of search and destroy, and happened to capture the point or whatever uh, for search and destroy, so that kind of helped me level up a little bit. Uh, taking a look at my classes, um, I ran an MTAR, these are more, I don't even know what that SC2010 class is, I don't even think I used it. These down here are my surge classes that I used, um, this Remington is the red dot one, it's a red dot Remington uh, for search. This is my sniper class, this is the vector double IED, actually this is single IED. Uh, double tactical because if you get hit markers and search you get match bonus experience So I would just chuck concussions at places where I knew people would be just to get the match bonus just to make sure I got experience uh, Maximizes your time in search and destroy even if you have a game where you go like 0 and 5 and you get hit markers in all five rounds or whatever uh, You would still get uh, more experience than someone that went like 5 and 5 or no not 5 and 5 but like uh, Yeah 5 and 5 and got all five kills in one round and didn't get a hit marker in any others uh, this is my Remington, this is my Thermal Hybrid. Uh, most of these, you see, they don't run any lethal, tactical, or secondary. Uh, but that that's one of my favorite classes right there, the Thermal Hybrid. Uh, this is my Rushing uh, MTAR class. Actually, it's kind of a... It's it's not exactly right. It's like a medium place up rush class because it doesn't have a marathon. It just has lightweight, and it has a Semtex and a Concussion. This is my Riot Shield class. This is just my screwing around Riot Shield class, fun class. Um, it's got, is that C4? Yeah, it's got C4. It's got two C4s that I don't even ever use, really. Um, and then it's got uh, a Kimbo P2226 uh, uh, that I also have a Reflex, so I can swap them really quick and take people out. That's just my screwing around class for fun. Uh, this is my SC2010 search class with... Uh, a Semtex and a Concussion with two Concussions. Um, this is more of my Surge class when I'm really trying hard because it has a squad made on. So I'm getting at least 11 kills usually when I try uh, super hard with this class. Uh, this MTAR class is also my Rush Try class uh, with two IEDs and two Concussions. 
It's designed to get up into one base real quick, throw down a double IED, uh, which is a really bitch way to play, but when I'm really trying to level up, I will play like a bitch. Uh, but the, this class is the one that I usually would use. Um, but these are just when I was getting frustrated or I was having like a bad day or whatever. Uh, these were good uh, kind of alternative classes that I could use. Um, but the main goal is like to push the A-bomb site, throw down two IEDs, stun, throw one stun, then work my way over to the other bomb site and cover that with one stun left in order to stun. My basic setup for killstreak-wise is just support, uh, sat comp, ammo crates, and ballistic vests. Uh, for me, eight kills is not too far off. If I'm if I'm trying decently hard, I can get eight kills, so I can throw down ballistic vests, ammo crates, and sat comps all in one game. That's about like 450 to 500 experience, I think, somewhere around there, like 600 maybe. No, I think you get a hundred for each. I think you get a hundred for, hundred and fifty for ammo crit, hundred and fifty for ballistic vests, and a hundred for the sat com. So it's like three. It's like four hundred. Um, and now I'm on the grind one. I, I, there's no way on earth that I'm gonna prestige all these times. I think before Advanced Warfare comes out, since I've only pre I prestige the first two times like really quick. Um, like see, I prestige two on January twenty third. I prestige the first time on November eighth. That was like, what, two days after the game came out or something like that? Three days? I don't know, that first prestige was dick. And then it took me a long ass time to get here. Um, let's see here, how long is that? It's like three months. It took me over three months to then prestige there. And then this one took me seven months to prestige again. It took me seven months there. This one is already 28. This was my uh, Road to Commander uh, one that I still might revive. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but I, I think theoretically maybe I could get through six prestiges, but I think the streak might be over. Somehow I did it in Black Ops 2. I grinded it out and got max prestige, but I don't know. I don't think this game, I think I might come up just, not just short. I might come up way short, but... Uh, we will see. Um, I have been playing a little bit of this every day. Um, my goal might be to just be play like an hour or two a day um, for the rest of this and uh, see what happens. But once Madden comes out, I highly doubt I'll play this an hour or two a day. Um, plus, I got work every weekend and football, so I don't know. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. I'll probably end up hitting you guys with at least one more of these, uh, but we will see. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and check back later for uh, a little bit of a rant from me on EA Access. Coming up in the next few days, um, I might postpone it until Wednesday, which um, is kind of the main... Uh, it's going to be the big day, the big turning point day, um, and so, yeah, we'll find out then. But 